A part of baseball's charm as a sport is that unlike football, basketball, or soccer, there is no time limit. You have to play until the final out. The Class 4A semifinal was a great example of that between North Vermilion and South Terrebonne. The Pats led 5-3 entering the seventh inning when this one got wild. The Gators' Logan Mallard crushes this one to right the right. The fielder looks up, and it is gone. Back-to-back -back jacks tie the game at 5. Top of the eighth, the Gators take command already up 7-5. The ground ball pops off the third baseman and into no man's land. South Terrebonne scored five in the eighth to lead 10-5. The Patriots get four back with two outs. Then that leads to Lane Potan, who splits the diamond. Camden Bro will score from second, and we have a tie ball game. Potan on second now. John Carter in pinch hitting and he is going to get the single through the right side. Potan will score and it's a walk off victory for North Vermillion as they rally to win 11 to 10. Carter, the senior, hits the game winner. Oh, it's it's way up here. Hearts pounding. It's the best feeling in the world. Best baseball moment I think of my life. Well, we went down big, but we've came back multiple times in the playoffs. I mean, this is probably the third time we just uh, had to give ourselves a chance and and uh, we had a senior come up big right there with a pinch hit. He probably hadn't had an A-B in probably two weeks. And we thought that was a guy that needed an opportunity right there, and he was ready when it was his turn. In Division II, Turlings and Parkview Baptist, Ryan Richard at second for Turlings. He's stealing. The throw gets past the third baseman. Richard and the Rebels take a 1-0 lead in the third. The Eagles responded with a flurry. LSU commit Brennan Holt smacks one to left. The dive comes up empty. Two runs score. Parkview takes the lead 2-1. The Eagles scored six in the third and never looked back, beating Turlings 8-2. That's a look at sports. We'll be right back.